happening? It's your man, Michelangelo, back at the beach where I belong, the Hoboken Beach. And we got a lot of driftwood. That's probably a good tool to work with. And hell, it's here. Somebody paid for it, the taxpayers. So we're gonna simulate the kicking over the chair drill. So a lot of kicks, especially the low kicks, the tie kicks. You're trying to bring the shin in and go horizontal with the shin for a while. And when you're just hitting one target, initially you'll, you'll have the kick, you'll already be pulling it back before it gets there. So it ends up reducing your power, puts strain on the knee, it just takes away from the kick. So uh, a famous drill, if you will, is to kick over the top of the chair and go in a circle. And uh, we don't have chairs here, but we do have oh, some beech wood that's very sturdy. So I'm gonna use this, it's lightly on there. I'm gonna balance it, and then I'm gonna kick over, and if I miss, I'm probably gonna get uh, the Zika virus. I'm also on a decline. You know how good that is for me. I've climbed up. So all I wanna do is 10 on the right, 10 on the left. And all I'm doing is nice and smooth, especially in the beginning. Good. You can do this at home with a chair or some beach Before I continue, I just want to point out that throwing that kick is like an anchor on one of those boats. Pretend you had an anchor tied to a string and you threw it overboard and that string was tied to, attached to your ankle. Eventually the string and ankle would pull you overboard. That's what you're doing with this section of your body. You're going to cast it and it's going to pull you through. It's going to lead the pull. Just like the driftwood drill. 